up, it's Melody, and today we're going to be talking about how to clean makeup brushes in an efficient, eco-friendly, and affordable way. So there is a $20 beauty blender cleaner for your sponge, your makeup sponge, and there is a lot cheaper of a duplicate for that. If you wanna save money, you can just get the ivory bar of soap, which is very, very harsh. So I don't ever use it on my skin but this will get your makeup brushes extraordinarily clean. So that's what we're gonna be using. So the first thing that I do when I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes is I lay out my microfiber cloth or my dish towel cloth because I'm going to rest all of my wet brushes on it to dry and I get room temperature water, just a very little bit, pretty much just enough to cover my bar of soap. I'm going to put my bar of soap in the bottom of the dish. So I have a little cup here that I use to get stains out of things. And so I'll use this to clean my makeup brushes as well. So I put the bar of soap on there and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get off the majority of whatever is on my makeup brushes. So when I'm cleaning my Beauty Blender, I always do this separate from the rest of my brushes. So you can take this Beauty Blender with you into the bathtub if you want and clean it that way, but this will get the water very dirty. So you wanna do it completely separate. And because this sops up a lot, this has to be washed in clean water. You can't just do all of these makeup brushes and then dunk it in because it's going to be soaking up all that dirty water. So I'm gonna do the makeup brushes first. The reason why we use room temperature water is because if you're like me and you get affordable makeup brushes, then the glue is not going to be as strong. And if you start using warm water or hot water, it's going to loosen up all your bristles. So we're just going to use room temperature water, grab our bar of soap, and get to cleaning. So sometimes I do my videos twice if I don't like how the intro comes out. But let's just hope that we can get this in one try. These makeup brushes are gonna be clean and then I won't have anything to clean. How I lay out my brushes is I lay it out from least dirty to dirtiest because I want the water to be as clean as possible. So we're gonna start off with my least dirty brush, which is my MAC 217 brush. And we're just gonna swirl it on top of the soap and get it wet. This soap is really powerful. It gets it extraordinarily white. I don't think there's any makeup brush cleaner that can do as good a job as this ivory soap, which is why I would never put this on my skin. Oh my gosh, I would have a gazillion wrinkles for sure. Maybe your skin can handle it. My skin is really sensitive. I'm just gonna set this aside because I will rinse this out with another round of water, but we're just trying to get all these clean and then we'll rinse it out after. This video reminds me a lot of the Miramo video. I don't know if you guys watched my Miramo video, but when I just started YouTube, one of the very first videos I ever did was my Miramo on how to change out the water and keep the Miramo fresh. I watched that video once or twice and boy, oh boy. This isn't a Marimo channel. I don't even know why I did a whole video on Marimos. That just goes to show I didn't know what that guy was doing. <laughs> you can't stop the creative process, guys. Okay, now that I'm getting to the dirtier brushes, it's going to start changing the water. So, so far the water's been pretty white. But now I'm getting into the really dark brushes. Do you guys have a favorite color? I'm always interested in random facts about people. What their favorite colors are, things like that. And I feel like it's only fitting because we're in a makeup brush video what is your favorite color or colors the thing is you don't want to get too much soap on this because then the soap will be hard to get out so only swipe it across the soap once or twice don't get too much soap into the bristles or you're gonna have a time rinsing it out that's not what you want either but by cleaning it this way you barely use any water at all you can, again, do the Beauty Blender one in the shower, which is what I sometimes do because that one gets so filthy. So it makes sense. And I've tried to try replacements for the Beauty Blender, but nothing can compare to that one. So I always get the tan one because it stays looking the cleanest and it just works the best for me. The less makeup brushes, the better because then you will not spend all day cleaning your makeup brushes. If you have 50 makeup brushes, you're gonna be here all day and night. So now that we're done, I'm just gonna dump out this water, dump out the soap, and get some clean water in here. And I am going to do the Beauty Blender, which is going to be very filthy. This white soap gets this thing so clean it's crazy it's just like the twenty dollar cleaner at sephora 
only it's about one dollar the only bummer is that you have to buy three soaps which takes forever to get through let me just say this is the aloe vera one because apparently the aloe vera one is the most like a duplicate for the beauty blender cleaner some soaps just aren't strong enough if you use the one in your bathtub it might not be strong enough to get it as clean you know this one will get it almost looking it also is very easy to work with with your hands so I'm pretty sure I'll be using this for the rest of my life if I wear foundation for the rest of my life if you watch my older videos I don't even wear foundation but you can definitely tell foundation gives you a cleaner look so your eyes and your lips pop if you don't wear a foundation then it's easier for your features to get drowned out which when I was younger I wouldn't wear foundation and it is true. <laughs> it's the same thing if I gain weight. My look, my features get more drowned out by my puffiness. It's all up to you. We're just going to go into clean water and rinse them out thoroughly. And then we'll be done. Again, you want to start off with the least dirty because the water will stay cleanest for longest. So you can see here, almost all of it is already out of it and the brush looks crazy clean. So all that that tells me is that I will have to be putting on lotion on my fingers after this. I'm shocked that some people can actually handle that kind of soap on their skin because my brother and I, we have to use sensitive skin soap. <laughs> Growing up in Hawaii, skin is always glowy and dewy. So when you come to the mainland, it's pretty much a shock when your skin is really dry. But just roll with it and buy some lotion. When I used to live in Hawaii, I don't think there was ever a time I put on lotion. Maybe I put lotion on five times a year. I do like the smell of ivory soap though. That is a really nice clean scent. When it comes to big brushes like this, you probably want to squeeze it a little bit on the side. These dry really fast on the microfiber cloths that I recommended in other videos. Microfiber helps things dry instantaneously. So I also keep my microfiber cloth underneath my utensils in the kitchen. And I don't have to separate out my utensils into knives, forks, spoons. I can just bundle them all up and put them together. If you only own what you need, then you don't have that much utensils anyway. So you don't need to separate it out if you don't want to. So now that we're done with this, then all I have to do is get one more change of water and wash out the beauty blender and then we're done. This beauty blender I need to replace. I've had it for too long. So it's getting really old. But since I only wear makeup once a week or twice a week, it's not that bad. So this beauty blender looks almost new. It has some staining on it because it's a really old beauty blender, but if I rub it against the soap for longer, you could get nearly every stain out. So this soap is incredible for cleaning brushes, so I hope you'll give it a try. I hope you like this mini tutorial. I will see you next week in the next Minimalist and Organization video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that we can see you next time.